Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless Student. In this video, let's look at the changes Notability has made for iPad OS 13. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're looking for a solution to go paperless with your studies or your business. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you turn on your notifications so you know when I release a new video. If you've not seen it yet, I have done a video on GoodNotes 5 and I will link that video in the description down below. How are you liking iPadOS 13 so far? Let me know. The thing about Notability is that the application has always had this dark mode theme. I didn't really use it before until now because of the whole dark mode to iPadOS thing. That hasn't changed. They've always had this theme. So this is not really an upgrade. It's not really a change. It's just that now because my iPad is in dark mode, that Notability will automatically choose and select the dark theme automatically without me changing anything in the application. Dark mode doesn't affect my previous notes. All my notes still look the same, only the user interface has changed. Let's create a new note in Notability and see dark mode in Notability. In all the technical ways in existence at the moment, Notability has always had dark mode options. They had the theme and they also had dark mode paper templates from a long time ago, which honestly are not really dark mode. I will be comparing dark mode in Notability versus that in the Apple Notes app. And I'll also be comparing the one in GoodNotes as well um, because their approach is very different, which has got me talking about true dark mode and false dark mode. When I create some notes in this dark mode using the dark mode paper template, the white ink looks amazing. I can't help but just love it. The contrast is certainly welcome. This is really good for your eyes. So I'm really enjoying using this in dark mode. However, when I export the notes without the paper templates, my white ink disappears. Obviously, when I turn on the page option, it turns on. I'm not really sure how feasible it is for me to share notes with other people that has a black page. I'm not really sure how other people will welcome that and how they will appreciate that. The undo and redo shortcuts are working in Notability. You swipe to the left with your three fingers to undo and swipe to the right to redo. This is a game changer for Notability, especially because some people found the long press feature to access redo options in the application a bit of an inconvenience. Honestly, at the end of the day, every second counts if you're going to be using this feature a lot. This just removes that extra step and it saves you quite a little bit of time if you add it up together. Notability can now search through text in your photos, which is very impressive. With this option, I doubt scanning documents is even necessary for Notability. Um, even though they do have the option. The truth is, scanning in Notability is not that impressive. The scan looks more like a photo than it does an actual PDF scan. So this is not really useful in Notability because you can search through text in your photos. So you can just take the photo and use it just like it is as a photo in Notability and still be able to search through it. So this really makes scanning in Notability not that useful in my opinion. This update also fixes the PNG image problem, which we've had in the app for a while now. Notability now supports PNG files. Your images can now come into the application without a background. All the PNG images I have tried to add through the drag and drop have given me this message, reading unable to insert item. When importing your PNG image into the application, you have to use this importing icon. I guess we have to wait a little bit for PNG photos to support the drag and drop feature because at the moment it doesn't actually support that. Notability has had in-app split view for months now and they're still supporting it independent of iPad OS 13. This is really interesting. In GoodNotes 5, the split view duplicates the user interface. So you technically have two GoodNotes apps open at the same time. In Notability, however, you only have one user interface for both documents. The application isn't opened twice. It's actually opened once and you still get to split view like you did before. It doesn't support the feature where the note taking application is open in multiple windows. You can't open Notability twice. And I think this is a massive drawback. 
In Notability Speed View, you can't open the same note twice. I hope the Notability team can work on this soon because Good Notes 5 is looking very good right now. I still will stick with Notability because of the recording feature, but really, mm, I'm like, okay. Notabilities in app split view supports any ratio you want, not just the three standard ones, but it supports all the ratios between those three standard ones. And this is really interesting and it might be useful for some people, uh, though I doubt that it's a very useful feature to have. I tend to just use those three standard ones. They work for me. That pretty much covers all the changes Notability has brought for us so far in iPad OS 13. Not very exciting, I'm afraid. It's just very basic stuff. But iPad OS 13 in general is definitely more exciting. Let me know what you're enjoying about iPad OS 13 so far. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you guys would like me to talk about more concerning iPad OS 13. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.